DSP tries it. All right, everyone. Well, please bear with me because I'm fucking ripping pissed right now. All right, and here's why. Dead Space 2. As you know, I bought Dead Space 2 for the PS3 because it was announced that the PS3 version would actually have completely for free packed in with it an HD remade version of the rail shooter Dead Space Extraction. <clears throat> and if you remember back in January, I actually played through both that Dead Space 2 campaign on PS3 and also Dead Space Extraction I did with John Rambo. So that was all well and dandy, but it was also announced that on launch day for this game that there would be a DLC on March 1st called Severed, which would actually resume the story of the characters from Dead Space Extraction as a playable DLC in Dead Space 2. So, it's supposed to come out on March 1st simultaneously on Xbox Live and PSN, just so everyone can see... Gee, what does that time say? It's 3.29 in the afternoon. So, I turn on my PS3, fully expecting that I would be able to play Dead Space um, Severed. And guess what? Here we are in Dead Space 2. Do you see it? I sure as fuck don't. It's not fucking here. And just to show everyone that I'm not crazy, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over to the PlayStation Store and I'm going to show you what I see. 3 fucking 29 in the afternoon on the day that a DLC is supposed to be released and PlayStation, or Sony in particular, can't get their fucking shit together and get it online. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'm ripping fucking pissed about it. Because as you know, I'm trying to cover new games. This is my job. This is my job. And if I buy a version of a game and I can't depend on the network to have the fucking DLC for the game, then that means I'm just going to not be able to buy the versions of those games anymore. So here we are, we're in the PlayStation Store, forgive me, I'm not on a tripod, this is guerrilla style here because I didn't expect to have to fucking do this, and uh, as you can see, usually they, they flash all the new stuff on the main page, we're going to go to new releases, right? <clears throat> Here's your new releases, uh, do you see anything here that says Dead Space 2? No? You want to know why? Because it's not available. Look, I'm looking all here. Add-on, here's your add-on section. Dead Money, uh, Deadliest Warrior, and Bulletstorm's Online Pass. You've also got an add-on here for Killzone 3, a retro pack. Yes, that's right. One week after release, actually it looks like it was available the day of release, you could buy a retro pack of two maps from Killzone 2 for $5. Ha ha ha, fuck you. No, how about that? I'll buy new maps maybe, but I'm not going to fucking buy retro Killzone 2 maps for $5. So anyway, it's not fucking here. It's pretty, it's pretty obvious it's not on this page. So I said, all right, maybe they fucked up, you know? Maybe they didn't put it on the right page. So then I went on to add-ons. <clears throat> okay, and what kind of add-ons are there? There's disc-based games and downloadable games. Well, it's a disc-based game, obviously. Here we are. Oh, it would have to be A through L. All right, so we're going to head down. Here's Dead Space 2. Dead Space 2 add-ons. And we've got Hazard Pack, Martial Law, and Supernova. Oh look, no severed DLC. Good job, Sony. This is why I trust you. So fuck that. Maybe it's not there. Maybe they goofed up. Let's look in top downloads. Because you would think if there's a new DLC, it would be in the top downloads for the day. No, no, there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here for, unfortunately... Dead Space 2. So we'll back out of there. It's not in top downloads. Maybe they really fucked up. 
Maybe they just put it under games. So you go to games. And these aren't even sorted by name, which is great, because how the fuck would you ever find anything, right? <laughs> so, look in here. Oh, no, nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, great. Nope, there's nothing here for Dead Space 2. Now, for those of you who don't have both consoles, I'm going to show you the difference, all right? So, that was PlayStation. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to my Xbox 360. I'm going to try. I'm pressing the button. Here's my Xbox 360. And just to show you, all right, when you boot up your Xbox 360, you start on this screen. So how do I find the DLC for Dead Space? I go to Game Marketplace. I go three clicks to the fucking right. And there's the DLC. Holy fucking shit. So number one, the DLC is available on time. Number two, the DLC is super fucking easy to find. Wow, what a novel concept. Maybe if Sony knew what the fuck they were doing, they would actually have the same thing. But the bottom line is, they don't. They never have known what they were doing. And this is why, when you have these console war discussions, everyone goes back and forth oh, constantly arguing, saying, oh, Xbox Live better, oh, PSN's better. The bottom line is this, alright? I can't say on a game-by-game -game basis what's better for online play because most of the games I play online I do play on my Xbox 360. Some games that I have played online, for example Dead Space 2, I played online on PlayStation 3 and I had no problems with lag. Now recently with Marvel vs. Capcom 3 I played it on both systems and I can tell you this, it sucks on both systems but on Xbox 360 I had some matches that at least were somewhat playable as opposed to, look at this fucking stupid Kinect. Hey, connect. Fuck off. Um, but on the PSN, I did not have one playable game. I'm not even li like lying. It's just unplayable on PSN. The connections are horrendous. So it's that. It's that bad. But when it comes to accessibility, PSN is fucking atrociously bad. You can't find anything. The downloads are slow as fuck. And they constantly have this fucking problem. It's launch day. You should be able to fucking get the DLC. And it's not there. Why? Why the fuck am I on Xbox 360 and I can get my content? But because I'm a poor PS3 owner, I get fucked. Why? Sony, answer my fucking question. Why can't you get your shit together? I'm so fucking tired of this. It's horrendous customer support. It's, it's just, it's, it's horrible. It's, 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 it's not, now they're doing renovations upstairs. Great. But it's just not acceptable. It is not acceptable. It's a horrible business model. And honestly, my honest answer to someone who would ask me, what console do I, should I buy, Phil? My, my answer would be this. If you care more about the fact that you'll be able to play Blu-ray, buy a PS3. But if you want support, if you want to get the DLCs right away, and if you want pretty much better online play, get the fucking Xbox 360. Because Sony doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. And I'm sorry to say that. I've had both consoles for several years. As you know, I play all the games on both consoles. I love doing it. And not to say anything about the quality of the games, the quality of the games on PS3 is exceptional. It's the fucking PSN. They don't know what they're doing. And I'm so sick of it. I'm so fucking sick of it. Sorry I had to rant here for eight minutes about this, but here I am sitting on my ass. 
Here I am, sitting on my ass. I'm fully expecting I'm going to come back for my, you know, a, a, a tournament and be able to play a nice, fresh new DLC. But no, because I bought the PS3 version, I'm punished. And I have to wait for fucking PSN to get their shit together so that I can play the game. So fuck you, Sony. Fuck you people who work up for PSN. You're fucking shitheads. You don't do what you're supposed to be doing. And I, I just, I can't stand you. I can't. I cannot fucking stand you. I'm sorry, I had to get it off my chest. I hate fucking PSN. That it's it was late. It was you know, they were trying to, to do what Xbox Live did and they failed miserably. So if anything, yes, Microsoft fucked up. They had red rings out the ass. Everyone had to buy multiple consoles. But the bottom line is when you go on Xbox Live, most of the time you can do what you want to do. I cannot say that for PSN. PSN is a fucking joke. So Sorry about that, guys, and everyone else. You know, everyone who wanted to see me play the Dead Space 2 DLC today. I wanted to play the Dead Space 2 DLC today. We all got fucked by Sony. So everyone, raise your fucking middle fingers to Sony and say fuck you. Get your shit together. If anything, so anyone who owns this PS3 should be bombarding Sony right now with messages. Why can't you fucking get your shit together? Why do we always have to suffer? Why does Xbox 360 get DLC first? Why, when it's supposed to come out at the same time, can't you get it up? Fuck you. Get your act together, or else get another fucking job. It's that simple. Trust me, in this economy, there's thousands of people biting at the heels of the people who work on PSN who'd be more than happy to do a better job and get paid rather than fucking be unemployed like, you know, so many thousands of Americans right now. So get your fucking shit together, PSN. All right, I guess I have to, you know, look for a full-time job, although I know it's going to be ridiculously hard because I have kept my eye on the job market, and there's, again, there's no jobs no jobs in my job sector available. The, where I was laid off from, they want me back. There's people in that building that want me back, but there's no one hiring right now. There's no, everything's on a job freeze. And a lot of people said, why don't you get a, a part-time job? Okay, you're crazy, all right? You're crazy, all right? Of the channel, and what I'd like to do is explain a little bit about myself, what I'm all about. Ah! 